outlandish remarks, but tonight, American right wing pundit Ann Coulter left a sour taste in some people's mouths. She spoke tonight at the University of Western Ontario, where one student stormed out. Anna Vlacos joins us live to explain why. Anna. Tara, during a question and answer period, Fatima Aldahar says Coulter's response to her was extremely offensive. Should I be converted to Christianity? Second of all, since I don't have a magic carpet, what other most do you suggest? This University of Western student read aloud some of Ann Coulter's quotes. The first, that Americans should invade Muslim countries, kill their leaders, and convert them to Christians. Fatima Aldahar also referred to another quote where Coulter said Muslims should use magic carpets as an alternate mode of transportation. As a female, as a Muslim, as a student of this university, I felt an obligation to kind of represent that. Coulter didn't deny she made the statements. She began to reply to Aldahar's questions. American I got up and left because it was absolutely ridiculous. She's talking about political correctness, and right there, she blatantly just she stabbed me in the heart. That was rude. Use your camel. I mean, mm. come on. How is it any of your business what I choose to put in my body if I'm not affecting anyone else? Okay, first of all, for alleged individualists, you're very mob like. Um, second of all, it is my business. It is. All right, but the question is, why is it when business? we are living in a welfare state? You get rid of the welfare state, and then we'll talk about drug legalization. But right now, I have to pay for, oh, it turns out, coming down the pike, your health care. I have to pay your unemployment when you can't hold a job. I have to pay for your food, for your housing. But if, yeah, if it's someone's not business. using any of those programs in a hypothetical world or whatever, then would you be okay yeah, with yeah. it? Would you say all the drugs should be legal if we didn't have a socialist health care system. I wouldn't care. Okay, here we are. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. <laughs> right now, a historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race. CNN projects Donald Trump wins the presidency. The business tycoon, a TV personality, Capping his improbable political journey with an astounding upset victory. Donald J. Trump will become the 45th president of the United States, defeating Hillary Clinton in a campaign. Please welcome controversial columnist and best-selling author Ann Coulter. And Ann, I really want to welcome you, but I don't get this about the single mothers. They should give up their kids for adoption. Oh, definitely. That's what the statistics are. I mean, not once they're 14, but a woman who gets pregnant out of wedlock, if she wants to do the best thing for the child, it is overwhelming that she should give the child up for adoption because the statistics, both from the left and the right, are overwhelming on what happens to illegitimate children. If you look at it from the end of the spectrum of who ends up in jail, who ends up a murderer, who ends up a teenage runaway, who ends up getting pregnant out of wedlock herself, who ends up a rapist, about 70%, according to both the Village Voice and all these conservative um, pro-family groups, are going to be the children of single mothers. I mean, that is simply a fact. Now, imagine an America with 70% fewer teenage runaways, fewer teenage murders, fewer teenage drug addicts, fewer teenage pregnancies. That's what single mothers have created. Before the students get to ask questions, gay marriage. Why can't gays get married like straights do? Um, well, they can. They have to marry a member of the opposite sex. Why can't they marry a member of their sex? Okay, Ann Coulter, uh, uh, how could Obama be any stronger on foreign policy short of attacking Iran? And I remember you said after 9-11 what we should do is attack Muslim countries, kill their leaders, and convert them to Christianity. Yes. Do you still, do you still stand by that Absolutely moderate position? Absolutely fantastic <laughs> policy. I haven't heard a better one. So we could just skip that for a second sure. and get to the southern strategy. Yeah. Because I, I specifically disproved it. It's an absolutely liberal folklore. Um, Republicans were winning the South since 1920. It was the outer states of the South. It was Texas, Tennessee, Black Kentucky, and Virginia. Voting. What are you talking about? We weren't well, allowed to vote. to get them to vote? Republicans were. Yeah, and, the first, you, and the first Congre black congressmen were all Republicans. And the wait, first black wait, governor wait, 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 was a Republican. You're talking about there. way back. That so after in is so different from yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. That's, now, that is definitely hey. what we're told. Uh -huh. But in fact, the black, the, the Democratic segregationists were all liberal Democrats. It is a lie that they were conservative Democrats. 
Pratt was, was a Jane. segregationist, darling. And then, you know, the basically, were. They, everybody was. was. White people were. It didn't matter whether they were Republicans. Were. Look, the pre-1970 immigrants were more educated, made more money, mm. were more likely to buy houses, and 30% of them went right. home. Now no well, one goes home. They go on welfare. And they are far more likely to be on welfare than the native population. Well, I think a nation's well, policies should be concerned with the people already here. And that includes the immigrants who came last year and the year before. It should be people who, who, who live here benefit, not to become the, you know, battered woman's shelter of the world where we're bringing in <laughs> the hardest cases and, um, you know, the, the wife beaters and the, the single what, mother with eight well, I, kids. Again, and where, but where it... <laughs> how, how do we... You can't take positions that most Americans, I mean, it's Donald Trump and the American people against the political class yeah. and the donor class. The same thing with his tax plan. And I, I mean, I love him but for the, immigration. But the donor but class is the Koch brothers, let's say, for example. Mm -hmm. Are they going to put their money behind Trump? Probably not, but who cares? The people are for him. That's what we're finding out right now. Um, look at all of the money Jeb Bush had. And, and by the way, both parties with that 12% rate on hedge fund managers. D Hillary Clinton was on the finance Let committee. I'm sorry, that is unfair. I, I and it takes Donald Trump saying no hedge fund manager should pay the same as Ann Coulter does. It takes him saying that because the donors have been stepping in saying, no, 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 we I like paying less than everyone else. I already told okay, that do you say anyone here? Can, do you think he can you're win? Paying a low, you're paying a higher tax no, rate than hedge fund managers. A single mother specifically refers to a woman who, A, gets pregnant out of wedlock, and B, decides for narcissistic reasons, I'm going to keep this child for myself because if she cares what's best for the child, she will give the child up for adoption. Do and that is a fact. No, and we have more from the audience. Uh, you keep saying, you know, statistics, statistics, but anybody can make up a statistic. That's I why mean, there's so many of them, from both the left and from the right, you, and for 30 where years. Where do you now. think it's okay to like to say all this? Okay, I mean, you I know what? You may as well my stand mother up. Was a single and I'm getting like emotional. That's fine. You're saying what you feel. I can't talk now. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, you may as well stand up and say, I'm a smoker and I'm very upset about the smoking statistics and Can don't you, you tell me about lung cancer. OJ, I mean, I think that was the moment, having lived near New York City in the 70s and 80s, which was the golden era. It was like Trayvon Martin and Duke Lacrosse case every day. With the OJ verdict, white America said, that's it, the white guilt bank is shut down, and that ended up being the best thing that ever happened what are you to mean? black what are you Americans. Talking about? I, I meant what that you mean. no longer... Was being acquitted was, was good for who? Yes, because you had millions of white people watching with the equivalent of what in New York we used to refer to as the Brooklyn juries, who simply would not convict even guilty black criminals. Outlandish remarks, but tonight American right wing pundit Ann Coulter left a sour taste in some people's mouths. She spoke tonight at the University of Western Ontario, where one student stormed out. Anna Vlacos joins us live to explain why. Anna. Tara, during a question and answer period, Fatima Aldahar says Coulter's response to her was extremely offensive. You always said that we should get all immigrants to boycott all airlines. When asked what the alternative modes of transportation were, you suggested flying carpet. <laughs> Question. First of all, as a 17-year-old student of this university, Muslim, should I be converted to Christianity? Second of all, since I don't have a magic carpet, what other modes did you suggest? Answer the question! got up and left because it was absolutely ridiculous. She's talking about political correctness and right there she blatantly just, she stabbed me in the heart. That was rude. Use your camel. I mean, come on. I kind of have a problem with the way that you're talking about gay marriage and the way the libertarians here are kind of talking about gay marriage because I've kind of always seen the libertarian position on gay marriage as kind of a third way. We don't say what the liberals say, which is that, you know, the government should define it one way or the other. We say that the government should not be involved in marriage at all. Well, again, we're way past that point. I think it would be very hard to achieve in any event, but the government issues divorce decrees. It issues alimony orders. It issues child support, child custody. We're beyond the point of saying, oh, I just think government shouldn't be involved. They are involved.
Um, so let's say everything you say is true, which it isn't. Um, well, let's and, say it isn't. And, and, uh, that's not okay. And the, and you're and you're snotty little mark okay. aside. It's irrelevant. <laughs> okay. The point at issue is: should America's immigration policy be used to benefit the people already here, or should it be benefiting Pakistani pushcart operators, illiterate in their own language, never mind ours, who come here, go on welfare, commit terrorism, engage in crimes? All right. Let's... Why? Why wouldn't you look out across the world like right. a sports team does let's... and try to get the creme de la creme? Not let's... like this audience. We don't want these people. We want the creme de la creme. <laughs> Police officers who arrested criminals, their names are in the paper. Then you have, they know the people who have guns if they want to steal them. People who don't have guns where they can go yep. rape, rob, and yeah. steal. Um, this is really dangerous. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it's a wake-up call for New York State. This is a... To make these public records has got to be changed. Many states already do that. Um, you get a gun permit. You, that is not a public record for exactly the reason you say. Criminals know whose house they can home invade when people are there. This is why home invasions are ten times higher in Britain than they are in this country because there's no g private gun ownership. And that's a curious thing. I mean, why, as, as that man just said, why aren't we getting names of, of recently paroled criminals? People with gun permits, by definition, do not have criminal records. Where? Why can't we get the criminal records? No, we can't get that. Why can't we get a record of women who have had abortions? Um, they get money from Planned Parenthood. They get money from Medicare, from Medicaid. Much of this is as it, their tax subsidies, I think, you know, mothers might want to know what other women on their street have, um, might be willing to murder a child. Um, how about the list of rent-controlled apartments in New York? And by the way, if we're producing lists even of, of gun permit owners, I want them for Manhattan. I want to know how many rich liberals with their bodyguards have, have, have gun permits. Um, the, the, the news journal, or journal news, by the way, um, as, as I'm sure your viewers know, they hired a couple of armed guards because they got, ooh, some mean emails. Armed guards. Can we get the armed guards' names and addresses? And I have to tell you, Anthony Weiner had some white powder sent to his house with a threatening letter. And, uh, you know, Louise uh, Slaughter had a brick thrown into her, her uh, storefront. Uh, Stu Pack is getting threats. People are putting coffins on Democrats' la uh, lawns. This kind of hate speech that's going on right now has to stop. Um, I wouldn't bring it up, <laughs> except that it happened, you know, two nights ago. Here, Yeah, okay. And, and... 200 kids were bringing rocks and sticks to a speech of mine. And I've gotten white powder, and I've been attacked on my property. You don't hear conservatives whining about it all the time. A liberal gets one piece of hate mail, and suddenly Paul Krugman is blubbering on the op-ed page of the New York Times. Uh, that's why, by the way, I mean, <laughs> the only thing true. responsible people can do... Responsible people on, on air, responsible elected officials, is to try to give public figures some privacy. In a country of 300 million people, there are going to be some crazy people out there.